cocoon is secreted as a viscid and gelatinous substance by clitoral glands forming a broad membranous stripe or belt around clitellum it hardens gradually on exposure to air into a tough but elastic tube which become the cocoon or egg capsule a slime tube is also secreted by epidermal mucus cells of clitellum over cocoon as the worm moves behind the slime tube and cocoon are slipped forward over the head on its way the cocoon receive ova from female genital aperture and sperms of other worm from spermatheci so that cross fertilization is takes place and zygotes are formed an albuminous fluid is also deposited inside cocoon by the glands of anterior segment of body finally when cocoon is thrown off the head its elastic ends up and a yellowish rounded cocoon is formed fertilization occurs after the cocoon has been deposited in a moist place cocoon of ferritima is a small spherical body light yellow in color cocoon formation takes place in ferritima after the monsoon many cocoons may be formed in succession after each mating so that old sperm stored in the spermatheci are not passes out at once cocoon may contain many eggs but only one embryo develops growing at the coast of other eggs serving as nurture cells and albumin stored in cocoon cleavage is holoblastic and unequal and development is direct without any free larval stage a holoblastula is formed and later a gastrula by invagination mesoderm develops from two large cells of blastula called mesoblast they divide to form two mesoblastic bands which later give rise the celomic epithelial lining young worm when fully grown crawls out of cocoon in about 2 or 3 weeks newly hatched young worm receives no parental care and be like the adult except for size and absence of clitellum regeneration earthworms do not show reproduction asexually but they have a great capacity of regeneration if end of body are cut accidentally or removed experimentally a head or tail is regenerated to replace the lost part 